Improving the quality of farmers' seed is very important for Bangladesh because more than 95% of the farmers use their own seed. But if you want a good yield, you must start with healthy seed. Farmer saved seed is generally of poor quality because of contamination, mostly from insects and diseases. Seed damaged by insects or unripe seeds are much lighter than healthy seed. So it's easy to get rid of these light seeds. Let's have a look at how women in Maria village near Bogra in Bangladesh use a method called the seed flotation technique to improve their seed quality. Before sowing, when we open the container and we see moths flying out, we know our seeds been attacked by insects. After taking seed out of the store, we usually clean our seed by winnowing. To remove more empty or partially filled seed, we need to put the seed in water. When opening the seed container, we need to observe whether there are insects or seed with insect holes. If there are insect holes, we know that our seed has been damaged. If that's the case, we know that we need to winnow to remove the seeds with holes. If we see that not all have been removed, then we put the seed in water and remove the bad seeds from the top. Let's see how the women of Maria village improve their seed quality by separating light seed and seeds which insects have eaten by using seed flotation. Farmers traditionally practice seed flotation by using water only. In this way, unfilled seeds, dust, straw and some seed attacked by insects can be separated but not all the light and insect-affected seed will separate out. To remove all the partially filled seed and those attacked by insects, it's necessary to increase the specific density of the water. First, you fill a clean container with water. After that, salt or urea has to be mixed with the water. You add enough salt or urea until an egg floats in the water. Now you put seed in the water and stir it with your hands. Within a very short time you'll find all the light seed and those attacked by insects on the surface. The good seed will settle at the bottom. Now you need to remove the light seed and insect-eaten seed from the top. The salt water has to be kept in a separate container. The good seed must be washed two or three times with clean water. In this way, good seed can be obtained by removing all the light seed and seed attacked by insects. We can give the rejected seed to the poultry. The water mixed with salt can be used to water coconut trees. If mixed with urea, the water can be applied to the seed bed. My name is Zakaria from the Rural Development Academy in Bogra. When the farmers take out their seed from storage and open the lid of the container, they may find flying insects. To confirm if the seed has been attacked, the farmer takes a sample of seed in his hand and on close observation, they'll find holes in the seed. Insects eat the endosperm, the inside of the seed, so these seeds become light and easily float on the water.
Manual sorting is a time-consuming job, which is why farmers use this flotation process. It's a popular practice, and by adding salt or urea, more bad seed can be removed. So remember, to remove the majority of partially filled, unripe seed and those attacked by insects, you need to put salt or urea in the water until an egg can float. Then when you add the seed, most of the bad seed will float. In this way, you can easily remove the bad seed from your stored seed. From now on, why not try this new technique of seed flotation before sowing your seed? And remember, good seed, good crop.